my craft friends, Tracy here with Sweet Bay Lane, and welcome to part four of our four-part series where we are DIY crafting with the Dollar Tree wood heart cutouts. Now, if you missed part one, two, and three, I'll have those linked in the description box below. And in this video, we're gonna be working with the large wood heart cutouts. So let's go ahead and get started. The supplies we'll need for this DIY are going to be some ribbon of your choice and some larger twine. I purchased the ribbon from Dollar Tree and the twine from Walmart. You'll also need a straight edge, a utility knife, and two of these large wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. To start our project, we take our straight edge and our utility knife and we're going to score one of the hearts right down the middle. Then we'll just lay our heart on a straight edge and break it in half. And for the straight edge, I'm going to be using the edge of my table. Once we have the two pieces, we'll then come in with some sandpaper and remove the splintery edges. Now that that's done, we'll bring back in our ruler. We're going to lay it along one of our pieces and mark one inch increments all the way up to the top of the heart. For mine, it was eight inches. And once we have that done, we'll tape our two halves together. We'll come back in with our ruler and on each mark, we're going to mark an inch in from that mark. And this is what it should look like when you're finished. And then we're going to bring in our drill and drill a hole at each of the marks. After we're done drilling, we'll come in with some sandpaper and clean up the rough splintered edges. We then remove the tape and we're going to move on to paint our heart halves white. Once our pieces have dried, I then came in and gave mine a dry brush edge with some red. After my red is dried, I came in and distressed the edges with some sandpaper. Mm -hmm. 
For our next step, we're going to be using our red and white gingham ribbon. We're going to be making basically a giant shoelace. And to do that, I came in with some blue painter's tape and created little aglets at the end of my ribbon. You might also know them as flugel binders if you remember the movie Cocktail with Tom Cruise. Now I'm dating myself. But who remembers that movie? Oh, I love that movie. once we have our flugel binders on, we're then just going to lace up the two pieces of our wooden heart. Making sure to crisscross across the front of our heart pieces. Now I also can tell you that if you do not want to score the center and break the heart in half, you could also just draw a line down the center of your heart and then drill the holes and not, you know, worry about cutting the heart in half. I just wanted the extra texture or the extra detail to my wooden heart. Then we finish off by tying a knot on the back side and trimming our ribbon tails. Looks so cute. And once we have that done, we're going to take our other wooden heart, trim the hanger, and then glue the red and white heart to the top side of our plain wooden heart, making sure to line up our hanger holes. Now to finish the edge of the two wooden hearts, I came in with the larger twine and just hot glued it around the edge of my two hearts. And as you'll see, it finished it perfectly. Now that we have our edge finished, I came in with this cream and red twine I purchased from the Dollar Tree and added a hanger. And I finished the piece with a red and white gingham bow. I think this came out so cute and I also think it would be perfect for regular home decor as well or maybe like a wedding I think that would be beautiful to decorate with too if you made it in the wedding colors I think that would be so cute that wraps it up for this DIY craft project but if you're still in the crafting spirit go ahead and click on one of these two boxes and it'll take you to some more fun Dollar Tree DIYs. Well until next time keep it crafty!